I just watched the Captain Marvel 2 movie, The Marvels. This is a spoiler. So if you haven't watched it, just keep on scrolling. If you are still here, eto na, pag na natin. I enjoyed the movie guys. Pero mas na-enjoy ko yung end credit scene. So dito na tayo sa spoiler. Bago lahat-lahat kung anong thoughts ko sa movie, ay sa end credit scene na muna tayo. It's all about X-Men. X-Men. <laughs> Napunta si Monica from another dimension, which is the dimension of the X-Men. And hindi ko lang sure dito guys, if this is the dimension where Wanda ended all the Illuminati there because Captain Marvel is there. Pero hindi siya Captain Marvel na pangalan. Yung pangalan niya in that universe or dimension is binary. If you are not aware, Captain Marvel was an, or still an X-Men. Kasi when Rogue X-Men Rogue touch her when she was Miss Marvel in the comics and sa cartoons nakuha lahat ni Rogue yung power ni Miss Marvel in the following X-Men series tinawag siyang binary because nakuha niya yung power niya sa sun I'm not sure, comment down below Captain Marvel sa dimension na yun is binary which is the mother of Monica so yung nakita ni Monica na alive pa yung mother niya is quite heartwarming <laughs> pero we're quite shook so, nandun si Beast, X-Men Beast, which is analyzing what happened to Monica coming from that dimension. I got excited guys, kasi we can now expect a X-Men movie in the future. Pero hindi ako sure how can they connect the dots between the X-Men universe to the MCU Avengers universe. So, para maging isa na lang. So, nasa separate dimension yung mga mutants. Pero si Miss Marvel is mutant. I'm not sure. It's confusing. So, moving on to the whole movie. Yes, this is quite a nice movie. Fun, carefree, with a little bit of corny in the scenes. I will give it a 8 out of 10. But the end credit scene is a 10 out of 10 for me. So, if you watch it already, what do you think about this movie? Kasi ang daming negative thoughts sa Twitter. I really enjoyed it, especially the end credit scene. <laughs> Alright, bye.